everyone! So today's video is going to be about how to stop being shy and start being confident and express your ideas without the fear of judgment by others. Being shy can keep you from achieving great things and utilize opportunities that are right in front of you. Make sure to watch the end of the video because I have 8 tips coming your way on how to transform yourself from shy to opinionated in just a few steps. But before we start, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I talk about how you can find your passion and go after it at any age, how you can find balance even at the most difficult times in your life, and how you can be happy with the things and the people you already have surrounding you. So if you're interested, do make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos that I upload 3 days a week. Now, let's get to today's topic. Number one is keep it to yourself. If you think you're too shy and you feel like you're unable to communicate with anyone without the crippling feeling of self-doubt and extreme sensitivity to judgment by others, the worst thing to do for you would be to go out there and announce to everyone that you cannot talk to anyone without your voice shaking or that you're unable to go out after the things you want or the people you want because you're too scared of rejection. Because let's face it, when you do this, you're not only telling others of your situation, you're also reassuring yourself and sealing your fate without giving yourself the chance for change. Being shy is not a part of you. It's not something given to you at birth. It's something you develop throughout your life because of your experiences. So allow yourself to have new experiences and develop confidence and stop looking for sympathy from others for your weaknesses. Number two is act confidently and engage. Fake it till you make it. So just like you fake so many other things in your life, it's also possible to fake being confident even though you're a total mess inside. Now, this might sound like a ridiculous idea, but it actually works. Because you start to see people around you taking you more seriously and valuing your opinion just because you're expressing yourself confidently. This in itself can boost self-esteem and help you break out of your shell and share your ideas, views and skills you may have without being too worried about opinions and judgment. Acting confidently is actually the first step you need to take because it will show you that there is nothing to be scared of in addition to seeing for yourself that you have something to offer. Number three is don't self-sabotage. Be aware of your thoughts. What are your most frequent thoughts? Are you thinking, oh, I'm this poor, shy introvert who can never ask for anything out loud? Are you constantly getting on your way and stopping yourself from going after the things you want for fear of rejection and failure? If you're doing this and avoiding every possible challenge, you'll never get anywhere in life. You don't see a lot of shy people being influential and impactful for obvious reasons. But there's good news, because a lot of successful people have come out and shared their stories of how they changed their life by simply putting themselves out there, even though at first they were too shy, too sensitive and full of doubt. Number four is don't rush things. You've spent the better half of your life convinced that you cannot do certain things. So it's obviously going to take some time to undo that. It doesn't have to take forever, but it's going to need patience and practice. So if you've never initiated a conversation with a stranger before, the first time you do it is going to be very difficult and scary because you're focused on their response and how that might make you feel. You can try to be more assertive with people when needed and you can also experiment with volunteer jobs and public speaking in order to increase your chances of interacting with many people and new experiences that can help you get out of your comfort zone in order for you to have a new perspective. Number five is eye contact and a genuine smile. So when you're looking straight into someone's eyes, first you're acknowledging their existence and second you're letting them know that they have your undivided attention. And if you add to that a very beautiful smile, you can instantly make them feel at ease, laying the foundation for a smooth interaction and maybe even a great conversation, which you wouldn't have had if it wasn't for your conscious and deliberate positive body language. You can also use this method when addressing multiple people. Your body language says a lot more about you than your words. So pay attention to how you present yourself and your gestures. Number six is try new things even if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Sometimes our comfort zones can be our prison, keeping us from going out there and trying new things that could have the potential to change our lives for the better. Being shy and fearful can only keep us in our imaginary bubble of security, denying us the chance to achieve and experience great things just because we're too scared of other people's opinions, possible negative outcomes and self-doubt. But even with all these feelings, it's crucial that you go out there and do the things that scare you the most. 
because that's the only way to find out that your fears were unreasonable. This way, you'll be able to build your confidence and believe in your own potential to achieve anything and any goals you might have in life. Number seven is be prepared and informed. There's nothing worse than feeling like you don't belong somewhere because you don't know what the hell is going on and you're not up to speed with the situation and you're the odd one out. This will fuel your anxiety if you happen to be a shy and a sensitive person. In this case, it really helps that you do your homework in advance and do a little digging and arm yourself with information in order for you to become part of a conversation without making a complete ass of yourself. Which gets me to my next point which is... Number eight is it's okay to make mistakes and have embarrassing moments. Even though you should do some preparation to avoid mistakes if possible, it's also important to realize that life is not that serious and that it's okay to sometimes say the wrong things and make mistakes. Some people are smart enough to laugh at their embarrassing moments while others hate themselves for it. And they let a single failure or a mistake dictate how they do things and how they communicate with others for the rest of their lives. But it's the people who strive to do their best but at the same time find humor in their mistakes and learn from their failures who win in life. So that's it for today guys, I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in another video where I talk about why some people are considered weird and don't fit in, click somewhere here. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share your ideas, thoughts, experiences down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss my other videos. Until next time.